You tell me. Have you ever been on a plane that a pilot made a bigger difference? I said, no. And then he looked at me and said, he said, I'll tell you what. He said, put it this way. Isn't it amazing how one person can totally define the culture of 251 people? I sat down. I wrote the story of Denny Flanagan. And then everything in my life happens for the reason. Six months later, final manuscript was ready to be turned in. I took it on the road because I'm an anal compulsive organized perfectionist. I had to read it one more time. And I'm glad I took it. And I'm glad I didn't turn it in because I checked into a hotel in Philadelphia. I looked at a United crew and I went, it's got to be him. I walked over. I said, hey, I don't mean to intrude, but I said, are you Captain Denny Flanagan? He turned around and said, Captain Denny Flanagan. He said, United Airlines. He said, you ever been on one of my flights? I said, I have. He said, best flight you've ever flown? I said, it was. <laughs> he had me so emotional and fired up. I said, yes. He said, what can I do for you? I said, well, I'd like to share something with you. I said, I know that. He goes, well, let's have dinner. Hotel, restaurant, we get on to have dinner. Sit down, I slide it across. He sees making a difference, a matter of purpose, passion, and pride. He takes his finger and imaginarily circles pride. And he said, that's why I do it. He said, I take pride in what I do every day. I said, how did you know I was going to ask you why? He said, because everybody does. He said, you know how many pilots make fun of me? You know how many flight attendants I brief and they have their fingers stuck in a red book magazine? They're rolling their eyes. They don't even take the pods out of their ears. Because he said most people that brief them just simply say, you've heard this before, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're briefed. He said, I tell them to take the pods out of their ears and take the finger out of the magazine. And I tell them that I want you to listen to something. And you can make fun of me, but you need to hear this. That you have no idea who's about to board this flight. But let me give you a glimpse. In row 20, there's a woman who was married 28 years. Her husband one day announced, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. He's leaving her. She's on this flight. She's in row 20. Row 14 is a family of four. They got separated. They don't have seats together. Two are on one side, two are on the other side. They're going to attend the two children's grandmother's funeral. That would be their dad's mom. Row eight, middle seat. There's going to be a young lady that went back for her annual checkup to make sure nothing's come back. He said, I look at them every time I fly every day before I come out to address everybody at the gate and I tell them, you have no idea who's boarded this plane. Powerfully simple. You have no idea who you're sitting in front of. You have no idea how bad they need what you have. You have no idea that the story you may tell, the emotion you may evoke, may change their life forever. I've read the history of this company and the difference it has made.